So for today, we're going to be looking at what 801 is offering. Surprisingly, she is selling a shader we just got like last week. I think two of them actually. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking some of these up. Other than that, Sato Tribe. Yeah, she's selling it again, which is funny considering she just sold this like literally last week. Um, but it's a good shader. Definitely pick it up. One of my favorite shaders in the game, if not probably my favorite, if I'm being quite honest. I haven't been using it recently because I kind of vetoed myself from using it because I used it quite a bit. So I'm excited for when I let myself use it because this is literally one of the best blue shaders in the game and you cannot find me on it. And this is the best shader from that season period. And I don't want to hear any, any, oh, Mylan's the good one or the, I don't, the green or the red one. I don't care. Both of them are trash and you can fight me on that because both of them are indeed trash bags. Uh, Bray Innovation. It's a pretty good shader. This is from Warmind, which is a DLC, an expansion. So this is an old one. Definitely pick it up because it's unique. It's a really good blue and the off color is this really cool, like a uh, tan gold or this like chrome tan. I don't know. Really good colors. Definitely pick it up. And then for the last one, it's Dead Orbit's Fate. This is a good black shader. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good black and white shader. I definitely like this one a lot. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's black and white. I much prefer just a completely black color, but if you are looking for a really good black and white, this is definitely the one you're going to want to go for. There's other dead orbit shaders that are in the game for sure, but this is the best one. As for the armor set, it's going to be a lot of the, well, it's going to be devastation um, complex. I think it's called for the Titans for the hunter it's road complex a one. And then for the warlocks, it's going to be the hobo 3000. I just think it looks like a hobo. That, that armor set plus the PvP armor set, which is literally just a reskin. Both of them are just terrible in my eyes. But for the Hunter and Titans, they look really, really good. I definitely suggest you guys pick them up because they are one of the better armor sets in the game for the Hunters and the Titans. More so Titans because, like, I'm not even kidding when I say this. All of the armor are is banger. Like, the chest piece is way better than the PvP variant because the fur actually goes all the way down instead of just all the way up. It... It's really annoying. The arms are better as well because they're a lot smaller than the PVP variant. And then the boots, I can see an argument being said that they are, they're actually weaker than the PVP variant because the PVP variant has a little bit more um, color distinction. So there is different colors going on around there. So if you want to like have a little bit more down there, then it's better for the PVP variant. But I still think the other one is super, super good. And then the helmet is probably the most forgettable one outside of the class item because the class item is pretty trash compared to the pvp one so just overall the hunters and titans the set just looks amazing warlocks i'm just sorry you guys just look like hobos so let me know what you guys think again these are supposed to be quick so that way it's just to the point you guys can see what that she's selling and that's pretty much it no need to make a 10 minute video so i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later